Hello everybody, Dave Neal here, and as you guys know, I've been following the Britney Spears story as she petitions last week to have her conservatorship ended and at least removed from her father's control. For the last 13 years, her dad has basically been in charge of her life. Uh, he makes something around $18,000 a month off of uh, her uh, performance, performances, tour dates, this and that. She's pleading to have control and freedom of her own life. And uh, there's a free Britney movement that's happening. Now, in this video, I'm going to share what Christina Aguilera has said about all of this. And also this title right here, Britney Spears could remain under conservatorship for years, expert attorney says. We'll talk about that. And also what Perez Hilton has to say. Now, if you don't know, Perez Hilton was part of a community of, you know, bullish, bullying bloggers, really, that, uh, you know, wouldn't really, that, uh, you know, in the time of the, uh, you know, 15 years ago, uh, weren't really considering uh, Britney Spears and other celebrities as humans. They were really just commodities to uh, make fun of. And, uh, you know, as as paparazzi are guilty for harassing people about uh, for photos, uh, Perez Hilton and others are reckoning with the fact that they were part of a system that was very, very flawed and at the very least didn't help uh, a struggling young woman try to uh, free herself from all of her mental health issues along with all the other issues that plague her as being one of the most famous uh, pop stars of all time. All right, so let's get right into it. Here's uh, uh, Christina Aguilera's statement. Let's read this one. And again, do me a favor. If you like this content, hit the like button and leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe. Let me know what you guys think about all this. Uh, These past few days, I've been thinking about Britney and everything she is going through. It is unacceptable that any woman or human wanting to be in control of their own destiny might not be allowed to live life as they wish. There's a photo of them. Oh, adorable. To be silenced, ignored, bullied, or denied support by those close to you is the most depleting, devastating, and demeaning thing imaginable. The harmful mental and emotional damage this can take on a human spirit is nothing to be taken lightly. Every woman must have the right to her own body, her own reproductive system, her own privacy, her own space, her own healing, and her own happiness. While I am not behind the closed doors of this very layered and personal yet public conversation, all I can do is share from my heart on what I've heard, read, and seen in the media. The conviction and desperation of this plea for freedom leads me to believe that this person I once knew has been living without compassion or decency from those in control. To a woman who has worked under conditions and pressure unimaginable to most, I promise you she deserves all of the freedom possible to live her happiest life. My heart goes out to Brittany. She deserves all the true love and support in the world. And, you know, we can say that uh, at least we're starting to reckon with all of this, and there's a lot of damage that has been done. But uh, it seems that anyone who's listened to Brittany Spears' 24-minute testimony to the judge understands um, she's in a desperate situation, and, and at the very least... Uh, communication and talking about this, shedding light on these issues is very important. All right, before we play the Perez Hilton, uh, let me play um, a a quick clip from uh, Elizabeth Wagmeister, who wrote this article. She's been covering uh, the Britney Spears news. Britney Spears set to break her silence for the first time in her long-standing legal battle against her father in her conservatorship case. I'm Elizabeth Wagmeister at the Los Angeles Superior Courthouse, and we are just about to go talk to a lot of the Free Britney fans who are here to support the pop star. We are here today outside of the Stanley Moss Courthouse because a grave injustice has been done that needs to be corrected. I hope to hear that, you know, as fans, we're we're right that the conservatorship is limiting her civil liberties and I hope to hear that um, she's going to get out of it soon. That's what I really hope to hear today. So the question is whether or not she's going to be able to get out of this. Uh, There really isn't much precedent set. So let's just go all the way down here to what the attorneys uh, familiar with the case have had to say. So after reading, and uh, if you haven't heard her testimony, I would go back to my previous video about that and having a listen there. It really is heartbreaking, but it really does Uh, You you can hear in her voice how desperate this situation has become. Brittany used the word abusive when describing her conservatorship to the judge. As someone who specializes in conservatorships, does this feel like an abusive situation? Based on what she said, yes. Of course, we can't take Brittany's statement as fact. At this point, it's just her word. That is correct. For the judge to make any sort of ruling, Brittany needs to file legal paperwork to officially request to terminate the conservatorship, correct? 
Yes, and this is what I don't understand. No matter what she was going to say, there never could have been an action by the judge to terminate based on her statement. If you're representing a conservatee, your job as a lawyer is to meet with that client and understand if they're going to give testimony to the court. It's your job that... Un uh, that understand what they're going to say and what they're going to ask for. And then you, as the lawyer, have the job to file the paperwork. Okay, so what they're basically saying is we don't have the paperwork done yet, so no moves can be made. Isn't it the lawyer's duty to inform Brittany of her rights? It is. I would hope that our lawyer had that conversation with her. It is something that a lawyer should be frequently talking to a client about because when you file annual well-being reports with the court... Before that is filed, having a conversation with a client to see what might need to be adjusted or changed and making sure they are getting the help they need is something that should have been a regular conversation. And as we know, Britney Spears had previously said she didn't even know she could file a petition to have the conservatorship removed. She was just living helplessly. I have to imagine that a normal course of action is to help have prep meetings prior to the hearing. And Brittany said she had been speaking to her lawyer three times per week. How is it possible that she was not aware that she had the right to file to petition to terminate the conservatorship? He must not have known what she was going to say. You can't totally control what your client is going to say. But the questions that I would have for her attorney are, did you have a con conversation with your client? Did you know in advance that she was coming to court to ask for? And if so, why wasn't that paperwork filed with the court before that hearing? Now, it is certainly possible that it's not his fault that the paperwork hadn't been filed. She could have not told him what she was going to say, but to not file that paperwork causes further delay because they now need to go back file a court petition, wait for a new hearing, probably have her come back and testify all over again. And at that point, then the judge could rule on it. How, how frustrating. Everything we're talking about is someone who's pleading for their own liberties. Now we know there's a lot of issues at hand here, but how frustrating this legal system. And I know it's there to protect people, but what, could it be months now before you get another court date and this and that? That sounds like it could be a long process. What sort of time frame is Brittany looking at for a resolution? The only way there would be a quick ruling is if the conservators agree jointly that now is the time to terminate. If they contest it, it will basically be a trial where each side presents evidence to show why it's needed or why it's not needed. That can be an extensive process. All right, so this could get ugly, essentially. And the only people that can stop this is uh, Britney Spears' father, you know, in the short term by terminating the conservatorship. How extensive? Do you think Britney will still be, a, be under a conservatorship in another year? A very long time. Trials can take years. I have contested conservatorship cases where we took 15 depositions. I would imagine this would be a case with a lot of depositions. So you're talking about a full-blown trial. It's going to be hard to prove some of the things that she's saying, but there could be caregivers who witnessed a lot of this stuff and could corroborate her statements. If there is a termination petition filed and it is opposed, I think this will be a long, drawn-out battle because over 13 years, there are a lot of witnesses that they would want to depose to use as evidence. How fascinating. How fascinating that, you know, she's after providing evidence as to why she's innocent, not evidence as to why she's guilty. And when I say guilty, I mean in, in need of this conservatorship to take place. At the very least, you would think if this is going to go to a trial, at the beginning stage of this trial, move the conservatorship over to another third party, someone with like, you know, some a vested interest to help her, but also, you know, someone who's not going to be like her father. And, um, you know, give her some free will back. Uh, obviously, that's not going to happen here. Brittany's attorney will now have to file a petition to terminate the conservatorship. And then Brittany's father would have to consent to the termination for her to be let out. What happens if he opposes it? If her father does not agree and they go through with a full trial, if I were her lawyer, I would probably ask the judge for a temporary deviation from the conservatorship, something that gave her more rights in the interim. I don't know. Oh, that's exactly what I was just saying. I don't know what all of those rights would be, but certainly as a 40-year-old woman, if she wants to have a child, they should be removing that. You don't want to end up in a three-year trial and then she can't have a baby anymore. There are some really particular timing issues that I would think a judge would have to respect because Brittany is on a clock. Sadly, all of us women are. Now, that's in reference to the fact that she has an IUD and the uh, she's not allowed to see a doctor to have that removed. Baffling, folks. Just baffling. Brittany said she wanted to go on the record in open court because she wants the world to hear her own words from her, not from others who have exploited her. Was that a smart strategy on Brittany's part? Yes. Look at the attention it's getting globally. From what she said, it sounded like it was her only strategy right now because if her lawyers were not conveying what her rights were and what her options were, then I don't know how else she would have gotten to the judge to hear her and to look into the potential abuse that she's alleging. This is Britney Spears' big move. This is a big move that she did this, that this desperate cry for help. Unbelievable that this is the strategy and, and the desperation that this ended up with. She had no other choice. Um... 
Brittany alleged that her lawyer told her not to expose whatever happened to her during her conservatorship. Was she being silenced or is that typical guidance? Her lawyer, her lawyer might have told her that she can't say certain things because she would need to file and take a more proper course of action. It would not surprise me if she decided to do this on her own and say, this is my shot and if I tell somebody, they might stop me. I need to get this out there. The judge can't unhear this at this point. Fantastic. Good for her. That said, Brittany made very serious allegations, including being drugged, being forced to work, not being given the privacy to change her clothes, and not being able to have a baby. Now that the judge has heard her account, should these claims be investigated? Yes, I think they should be. I think the court will appoint an investigator to look into those items, whether a petition to terminate the conservatorship is filed or not, because these are some things that are so alarming that I think the judge will feel absolutely obligated to have an in-depth investigator spend time to try to make sure that they are treating her humanely. They need to investigate all the previous judges and, and counselors and everyone that was part of the uh, installation of this con uh, conservatorship that everybody needs to be investigated, audited. This is a complete, a complete failure of what is supposed to be a system there to protect her. What would be a timeline for investigation? If I was her lawyer, I would have already filed a request for the judge to do that and to modify the behaviors of the conservators immediately. I mean, it would have been there when the judge arrived on Thursday morning. Yeah, this is time sensitive. Brittany is a human being and uh, she's a, what you would call, uh, you know, every day is one day lost where she doesn't have her freedom. This needs to be addressed immediately. Not your typical several years in the court system. I was in the court system for four years over an accident. I can't imagine how long 18 depositions and countless witnesses could be uh your uh the, the greatest hope with britney's testimony is that her father realizes he needs to relinquish control of the conservatorship maybe even just find a way to pass it down to someone she can at least trust in the meantime while she works this all out if the court investigates her claims and finds what Brittany is saying to be true, would her father be removed from the conservatorship? Yes, I believe that he would be because some of the allegations that she made are completely inappropriate. Regardless of not if they have reached their fiduciary duty with respect to her finances, if some of those other statements are true, they've clearly breached their fiduciary duty to be acting in her best interest. Another likely scenario is that the court is so alarmed by what they hear that to ensure none of that happens while they investigate this, they could possibly remove him on, an, on a limited basis while they undergo a further investigation. Yes, get him removed while they investigate. There is no time to let this you know, go on any longer. Based on the global media attention on Jamie Spears, do you think her father might want to take a step back in the interest of his daughter? I think it would be the smart thing to do if he really has her best interest in mind. He can find somebody that is suitable who can really do that job without taking advantage of her. Absolutely. So you can go read this full article there, but I couldn't agree more with all that. Now, the question is, who's at fault here? Uh, the Free Britney movement has kind of pointed fingers at different people, rightfully so, one of which is Perez Hilton. So let's listen to a, a portion of Perez Hilton uh, explaining uh, his message to the Britney Spears fans. And I'm going to, I'll scroll down some of the comments as they play it. Of course, he was uh, a bully blogger. Uh, I don't, I don't follow his content. I don't know where he is now, but that's what he was. Um, call him a product of the times. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. A lot of people were guilty uh, up until literally this week of just having their head in the sand over this issue. And we've just watched this Handmaid's Tale dystopian nightmare take place right in front of our eyes. Let's hear what Perez Hilton has to say. And uh, we'll play a few minutes of this and we'll get out of here. Hello world, it is Perez Hilton. Earlier today, Britney Spears appeared by video in court, a hearing that she requested to express a lot to the judge in her conservatorship case. I have so much that I want to say. First, I'm sorry to Britney Spears. I've apologized so many times and I will continue to apologize for my past coverage and treatment of her. I also have something I would like to say to the Free Britney movement but before I get to that, today, I have been getting so much hate and bullying from people Ironic. who were and are upset at how I used to talk about Britney Spears. So my message to all of those people is, fuck you. Whoa. It just does not compute that you're going to bully someone for bullying somebody in the past? 
It's karma. How does that make you any better than what I did? It doesn't. Thankfully, I fully own how reprehensible I used to be back in the day. I can see it, I can acknowledge it, and I carry with me deep shame and regret. Especially knowing that I contributed to Britney Spears' pain. And to the Free Britney movement, I would like to apologize to them as well. I thought it was just inconceivable that her father was this villain. I just could not believe that he would, would not have her best interests at heart. And I have read Brittany's words to the judge today in full And I am so thankful that she's got her boyfriend. A lot of people in the Free Britney movement or fans in general are skeptical about Sam Esgari, Britney's boyfriend of many years now. But I do believe that Britney loves him and that he loves her. I mean, she wants to have a child with him. And she said in court that the conservatorship isn't letting her, that she's got an IUD, a contraception device, and wants to take it out so that she could try to have a child with Sam, and that she is being forced to have this contraceptive device in her. Just reading everything made me so sad, not just because of how strongly she shared that she was wronged by her father and her manager, but also it's devastating that Brittany told us today in her own words, that her entire family has not been there for her. Her entire family, not just her dad, her mother, her brother, her sister, they've all, according to what we read and heard today from Brittany, they've all been living off of her and this conservatorship for the last 13 years. She said it explicitly. She wants it to end. She has been under this for so long now. She didn't know that she could contest it. All right, she so you can go to... watch, you can go check out the whole thing there. Uh, now, so if, I mean, I understand, I understand Paris Hilton's feelings of injustice and hypocrisy, uh, you know, because now everyone's coming after him. But it's like, Bro, you need to just continue to apologize. He said, I've apologized so many times for my past coverage and treatment. If you feel like they're bullying you online, it's kind of like, look, they're not profiting off of bullying you. You profited off of bullying Britney. So it's actually different. There, it really is an accountability thing here. And I understand the times have changed. And while it wasn't right then, you might not have known it right morally in your face that it was wrong, but clearly damage has been done. And I respect you talking about it, but I think you also have to remember these people that are in the free Britney movement aren't wrong for keeping the pressure on you to continue to understand what you did was wrong. And you just have to accept that the millions you've made off of it, uh, you know, do have a little bit of blood on your hand. So um, let me go to this next video here. Uh, let me see if I can pop this up right here. This is what I was just listening to very briefly. This was uh, from just minutes ago, a live that um, Perez Hilton made, um, which is a week after the video you just watched. And this is kind of 
uh, you can see that it's very it's very much weighed heavily on Perez Hilton. He's had, a, I mean, and you know, look, my brain is bruised is the title of the video. Britney Spears fans against me. What I learned from this. So after saying F you, you know, you guys are being hypocrites. This is his response. I mean, he looks torn up. It is Perez and a lot has been going on over the last week. I... Yikes. I'm not going to stop this video again. I'm just going to keep going. My brain is hurting in like a physical way. But thankfully, my brain is not hurting in an emotional way. I don't want to repeat a lot of what I said on the podcast this week because this is a different experience and an opportunity for me to have a little more perspective, be more selfish and communicate. Be more selfish. You, my fram, those who know me and support me and care and want to know how I'm really doing. I feel like my brain is bruised. And that's mainly just because of a lack of severe sleep. A severe lack of sleep. I've not, I've barely slept over the last week, but big but, and I didn't get to this in the podcast, which is out now. And on the podcast this week, I go into detail about exactly why I thought it was not wrong or problematic of me to be giving interviews over the last week with regards to Britney Spears. And more so why I think it was important for me to do that. So you can watch the podcast now on my at Perez Hilton YouTube channel, or you can listen to it at PerezPodcast.com. I won't repeat what I said. You can watch or listen if you're curious as to why, because a lot of people were criticizing me for the why. A lot of people were criticizing me for every single reason. And... I'm thankful that that all came last week. Some of you might have watched my wellness and therapy video that I made last week, which was my own therapy video because my therapist took two weeks off. He's been going through some, he's an older, wonderful gay gentleman and he's been going through some issues. And thankfully we did have therapy this past week. The video that you saw, I actually made on Sunday, so nine, I posted it on Friday, right, but I had boring. made it five let's go, days Let's just early. fast forward it here. I ate a bo two bowl. oh God. He's telling, telling us what he ate for breakfast here. Okay, let's just, is there anything useful here? I'm frugal. I've already cut out and cut back a lot. And I don't know. Let's go to the last minute. I'm trying to give you guys something here. Oh, well, it doesn't suck being me. It doesn't. It does not suck being me. It's hard, but it doesn't suck. And you, the few and mighty, my enders, you are mighty. And you are one of the main reasons that I keep going. Sounds stupid and silly, but when it feels like the world is against me, it is really comforting to know that there are some people in my corner, and that is you. God bless you. God bless your family. And God continue to bless me and my family. I love you. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Well, there it is. All right. <laughs>
You just got a real, like, camp- campaign uh, rally there. All right, well, look, I mean, I don't think the world is against Perez Hilton. I mean, it just so happens that the one of the people that he profited off of years ago, you know, bullying, harassing, whatever, it has had huge mental health problems, and it's like, sorry, bro, like, you're you're tied to that. You're tied to what happened. Instead of, instead of like, being all being so victimized against you know all the free Britney people coming after you you parlay that energy into helping the cause use whatever tools and platform you have to right the wrong this is your chance to right the wrong instead he says it doesn't suck to be me it doesn't suck to be me it doesn't suck to be me it's like are you trying to tell us that or yourself that it sounds like it sucks to be you uh but you know like with that with you know with you 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 you, you made the money in sort of a, a way that, uh, you know, tore some people down. And now you're, now you're, you know, unfortunately, you know, obviously Gandhi says an eye for an eye makes the whole world blind, but a little bit of bullying right back at you. And maybe, uh, maybe that'll instill some compassion and maybe he's already got it. Maybe he's already learned his lesson years ago. And he, and, uh, in, in, in the social media world we live in, you know, sometimes you have to apologize and then re-apologize. And then a documentary comes out and people find you and then you got to re-apologize. And it's like, just, that understand that that's going to be part of your name being attached to Britney Spears as we move forward. So with uh, all the new information that's going to come out, I will be uh, making sure to uh, bring it back to you guys. Hit the like button and subscribe if you guys want to stay in touch for future information. And we'll have to see what goes down. I commend Britney Spears for... Uh, at least putting her foot on the gas pedal here and at least getting awareness out to everybody what she's actually struggling with and all the pain she's actually struggling with. Uh, regardless of what the legal system should do or the time the legal, si- uh, you know, legal system should take to, f- to hopefully right this wrong, by her voicing her opinions uh, about how she feels and her truth in public, she's uh, hopefully helping herself accelerate the process of getting her freedoms back. Um, We root for, leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, More news coming. Bye now.